This has left the internet horrified. Only hours ago, the FBI have announced that they have found a body believed to be Gabby Petito in a Wyoming forest. And as this case only becomes more mysterious, here's everything we know so far. So a 22-year-old girl named Gabby Petito and her 23-year-old fiance Brian Laundrie decided to go on a road trip across America and live the van life. It didn't take long for their Instagram and YouTube to start filling up with amazing pictures and videos of all of their incredible adventures. And from what the viewers saw, Gabby and Brian looked to be happy and in love just beginning their journey as a newly engaged couple. It wasn't until a few weeks passed that this fairy tale narrative started to shift. Police in Utah responded to a report of a domestic problem after witnesses heard the couple fighting. In the body cam footage, Gabby can be seen crying as she tells the officer that the pair had been fighting and that the Brian wouldn't let her into the van until she calmed down. The couple, however, told the police that they were in love and engaged to be married and desperately didn't wish to see anyone charged with a crime. And that was that. Eight days later, the couple posted a video on YouTube. It showed them feeding each other, smiling, running along beaches, kissing, giving each other piggybacks, and camping in the wild. But this is where things get strange. On the 25th of August, Gabby posted her last picture on Instagram. And then on the 30th, her parents say they received one final eerie text from their daughter, which simply read, no service in Yosemite. Now alarm bells really started ringing as Brian returned to the couple's home in Florida alone. And according to Brian's family lawyer, he took his car, a silver Mustang, and told his parents that he was going for a hike. After a few days passed and Brian didn't return, his parents went to go look for him but only found his car and he was nowhere to be seen. Gabby's parents are convinced that Brian is not missing, rather he is hiding. Police have now named Brian a person of interest in the case and have searched his home looking for clues and information in hopes something might indicate to his whereabouts. Brian's last known location was in Carlton Reserve in Florida, but it is a 25,000 acre park filled with swamplands and is proving to be very difficult to search. As of right now, the body found is believed to be Gabby's and Brian is yet to be found. And as always, if there are any updates, I will make a part two, so make sure you like and follow so you don't miss it.